Hi everyone, Dearly Crafted here. As you recall, I did a first impressions of the Derwent Metallics and I tried them on this coloring book, the Wild 2. And the pages are very thin. I did have some warping from the water using the watercolors. And so, um, what I did was to maybe help these out. I mean, for dry, they seem to be okay. And so I am keeping them and I'm happy that they're in the pencil form, but I was looking for something to maybe help boost the coloring a little bit more. So I came across these on Amazon. They're a pearlescent 21 colors. And at the time I purchased them, they were around $6. And what I did was I tested this blue right here on the wings of the butterfly. And it's a little bit more of what I was lo looking from, looking for from the Derwent's. And if you see, right, trying to hold it steady. This is the Derwent dry and then this is the Derwent wet when I added water. And then this is the pearlescence that I just bought right in these two spots here. And as you can see, it's much more reflective of what I was looking for to be able to do the butterflies in these books. And once again, um, using them as dry, will, uh, using the Derwent's as dry in on this type of paper will probably be more beneficial for me but this is ending up to be a test page for now so i thought i'd just uh, go ahead and show you a few different colors from this new one i went ahead and kind of i wish these were in pencil form but it's pan and that's works that's what works i went ahead and kind of pre-prepped with one dot of water some of them have to but a dot of water in the pans and there's not very much paint in these pans but there are 21 colors and for the price I was like to me that was a no-brainer but since last time we colored on this page I did go through and add some more of the Derwent colors the purple in some of these and just did kind of a light light bit of work on them so let's see here I'm really interested to see I'm gonna push that up just a little bit so I'm really interested to see uh, how maybe the gold I think maybe this gold this has Derwent uh, gold on it right now but I was thinking about maybe this gold gold color yeah I'll just make a choice here I'm gonna go ahead and grab the I love these water brushes they are really cool so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of dragging The water out and just getting a little bit of a and thinning it on this brush a little bit and getting a little bit of the color so I don't want it to be gloppy like that so here we go let's try this out oh, I should put on my glasses but okay well never mind <laughs> forgot my glasses so I'm just doing these two little dots up here. If this works out with the pearlescence that I want, I may try this on another page in this book just because it has so many butterflies. So basically I'm just painting over where I painted or colored the Derwent's into And these will be 
mostly probably for highlights. I think that might work out using the Derwent's Dry on a butterfly and then then using these paints over it for highlights. in spots. This is a grayscale, so oh, just got outside the line there. This is grayscale, so I'm going to need to practice a little bit more. And I just globbed that one up, but that's okay. Alrighty. Okay. Let's see here. I'll just set that over there. I have an actual paper towel this time. Yay! <laughs> and then with my... I'm using my protector between the pages. I uh, cut that down so that way I wasn't wrestling with it so much since this book is smaller than some books and it was easy peasy to cut down. So let's see. Can you see that gold? Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? I mean, my, my messy painting on it because, well, my glasses are somewhere around here, <laughs> but that's, that's all good. It's all good. But I could totally see using that as a highlight. So what we'll do is rinse this brush. Because I really want the the reflections of like just highlighted areas. Let's try a little bit of this blue. Like I said, I only put a drop in these, so that way I could just try a little bit here and there. So um, let's see about the tips of the wings here. So I'm just kind of dragging it and blending it, trying to blend it smoothly. So I could either do this layer first or do it as a highlight later. There I go again and shaky hands. And it's very intense. I'm I'm not having to use a whole lot. I mean, just that little drop of water. So I don't need. I mean, I'm not producing these things <laughs> like on a massive scale. So that's just enough. So you can see that highlight on that corner, and then my messy work. But so and the reflectiveness of what a real butterfly wing would probably be. Ooh, let's try the black here real quick. Let's see how that turns out. I think this is supposed to be a reflective shiny black as well. I'm trying to minimize the Okay, let me see if I can. Oh my gosh, my hands are so shaky. I'm probably messing this up. 
this, like I said, this is more of turning out to be more of a test page now that, but I might be able to fix it if I like take my time with it. But I just wanted to show you this option. If you're doing a lot of butterflies in your paintings, if you just want to try it for something else. I can see this being used in my Joanna Basford as well. I should have used a fine liner for these lines on the butterfly's wings. Okay, I'm just going to blow on that here. Ooh, look at that black on there. There we go. Sorry about the blowing sounds. Just trying to see if it and squeaky chair <laughs> okay with the black I'm not seeing it looking as pearlescent as the blues so it might just be a flat black but of course it's still wet okay And you can see where I use the derwent on the flowers up there, like uh, up here on the red, a little bit on the rim of that flower. Okay, so it looks like the black is a little bit pearlescent, but um, that blue on the tip of the wing really showed up. Okay. So that's a few different colors. Um, I'll go ahead and link this pan of like I said, it's 21 colors and it's beautiful colors. I thought they'd be perfect for just about anything, butterflies or, or dragonflies or anything like that, that might just want that little extra pearly sheen that's found in nature. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day and we will talk to you all later. Bye.